Are you ready to discover your true passions in life? Are you ready to live your true passions in life fully? Fantastic! Because by the end of this video, you will know exactly what are your true passions in life and what do you need to do in order to live them fully. Most people never live passionately. They never live their passion, either because they don't know what their passions are, or they lost them a long, long time ago, or they just don't pursue them. It's not the right time, it's not the right place, whatever excuses they have. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what are your true passions in life and what do you need to do in order to integrate them fully into your life. In my belief, living passionately or living your passions is one of the major, major pillars to living your ideal life. This is the process we started at the beginning of this Breakthrough to Success program and we're going to continue it until you get to the place where you know exactly how to create those, this ideal life. So this is going to be a working video, which means you're going to do some work. So you need a pen and paper and preferably the printout of the PDF that the link is in the description below this video. So if you need a moment to go get them, pause the video, I will wait. All right, so what are your passions? They don't need to be grand. They don't need to be about the world. They don't need to involve anyone. Every passion is worthwhile, no matter its size. What do you love doing in your spare time? What do you make time for, even if you don't have the time for that? What do you do that makes time disappear? What do you do that makes you feel alive? It doesn't matter what other people think that you should enjoy or do. It doesn't even matter what you think you should enjoy or do. The only thing that matters is what you truly love doing. And what is important is that you will prioritize it. You will give it the time, you will give it the attention, you will give it the space. And that's what we're going to start doing right now. All right, so in order to do that, we're going to do a little process that is called the passion test. And in this process, we have a few stages and I'm going to guide you one after another. The first step is you're going to list 10 things that you will do when your life is ideal. So when those are done regularly, you feel fulfilled and accomplished, right? So I'm going to give you five minutes. And in these five minutes, I want you to complete the following sentence 10 times. The sentence is, the sentence to complete is, my life is ideal when I, and it needs to be something that you do, okay? So for example, when my life is ideal, I go scuba diving every month. When my life is ideal, I'm surrounding with, surrounded with friends and spending quality time in conversations and fun time with them. When my life is ideal, I'm spending quality time with my beloved. When my life is ideal, I'm growing my own food and enjoying healthy lifestyle. Okay, so it's all, it's not something that you have and that's it. So when my life is ideal, I'm a millionaire or when, I, when my life is ideal, I'm financially free. This is something that when you achieved it, you achieved it. That's not a goal. We're looking for passions. Those are some things that you're doing on a regular basis. So the sentence is when my life is ideal, I, and that needs to become with an action, something you do. All right. So I'm going to give you five minutes to fill up 10 of those sentences, to complete 10 of those sentences. If you think you need more time, just pause the video and start it again when you complete all right so when my life is comp uh, when my life is ideal i something that you do five minutes for that
Great. So now that you brainstormed some of your passions, some of the things that you're excited, some of the things that you're going to do when your life is ideal, how does it feel? Does it make you happy? Does it make you excited? Does it make you a little scared? A little scared is okay sometimes, right? Being a little scared means that, you know, you have to do something which is outside of your comfort zone. That's the only way to grow. So that's totally okay, totally fine. And what we need to do right now is to make sure that we actually prioritize those passions and give them the attention, the time, the focus, the energy, whatever you need in your life. So the next step of this process is what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to order them from top priority to low priority. And we're going to do that in a very structured way. So please follow my instructions. Okay, basically what I'm going to ask you right now is to go over your list of 10 passions that you wrote for yourself and pick up one that uh, if you could do only one of those passions, if you can have only one of those passions in your life and none of the others, which one would it be? I'm going to give you 30 seconds for that and I want you to figure out if you could have only one of those but none of the others, which one would it be? Okay, and write it on a new list. You have 30 seconds for that starting now. Did it? Wonderful. So now I want you to take a look at the nine passions, the nine items that left. And if you could choose only one of those that you could do forever, but none of the others, which one would it be? You have 25 seconds for that right now. Great. Now take a look at the list of eight passions that left. And if you could do only one of those, but none of the others, which one would it be? You have 20 seconds for that, starting now. Wonderful. And now take a look at the list of seven passions that are left. And if you could do only one of those and none of the others, which one would it be? You have 15 seconds for that, starting now. Great. And now take a look at the list of six passions that are left. And if you could do only one of those, but none of the others, which one would it be? You have 10 seconds for that. Choose now. Wonderful. So right now you have five passions written on a new list prioritized from the most important to the least important. The first thing I want you to do is to take two minutes right now and please copy that list into the comment box below. I want to know what are your top priorities, top five passions. It's important for me to know so I can support you with that, but it's also important for you to comment in front of you, me, and the rest of the community. So you have two minutes to write down your five top priorities in the order that you organize them. All right? Two minutes. Do it now.
We're not over yet. So now what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at the list of five of your five top priorities. Okay, the five passions that came on top. And what I want you to do is for each one of them, ask yourself, how much is this passion present right now in my life? Not the way I want it, not the way I wish it, not the way it should be, but the way it is right now appearing in your life. Okay, and you're going to give it a very simple, as objective as possible score from zero to ten. Zero mean doesn't exist at all in my life. Ten, I'm living it every day. So, for example, if one of my passion is that I, uh, I go scuba diving every month, if that doesn't exist in my life in the last few years, then I give myself zero. Okay? If it's something that I'm doing every single month without fail and I'm enjoying that tremendously, then I give myself 10 and any number in between. All right, so you can have five zeros, five tens or any other numbers. Okay? One is not connecting to the other. Just for each one of them, read the passion that you have and just judge it as objectively as you can. Is it existing in my life? or non-existing or anything in between. So I'm giving you one minute right now to come up with the scores for those five top passions. Go for it. All right, so now you have a kind of an objective uh, picture of how much the most important passion for your heart right now in your life, how much do they exist in your life? And, you know, it might be that you're very happy with your scores and it might be that you're not very happy with your scores. The point is that you want to look right now for each one of those passions that the number is lower than nine. So eight and down, that means that it's not yet fully in your life. And that's where you need to put your attention. You need to put your time, your energy, your focus, whatever it is. Right. So what I'm going to do now is to give you two minutes to go over every one of them or each one of those uh, passions that you don't have a nine or ten and just write for yourself. What can you do in order to integrate that more into your life or in order to bring that more into your life, even if it's just the first step? All right. So take two minutes for that right now. I'll wait. Got it? 
Wonderful. Right now, take one minute and let me know in the comment box below what was your biggest takeaway from this whole lesson and what is your commitment to do about it. Okay, one minute for your biggest takeaway and your commitment. Take one minute now. All right, you did it. You're a superhero, you have super passions, and now it's time to fulfill them. So the next video is right here. And until we meet again, live fully, stay awesome. From Nisander.